I invited six of my subscribers to compete in a Pixar build battle. They'll each have one hour to build something from their favorite Pixar movie and within a 7x7 seven seven square. Once they're done building, my subscribers will get to come on and vote for the best build and whoever receives the most votes will receive 500 Robux. Some of the movies today include Elementals, Monsters Inc, Toy Story, Brave, Ratatouille and Finding Nemo. So if you guys want to be in a video like this, subscribe to the channel or you can join me on Discord. Oh my god, why is that so zoomed in on my face? Or you can follow me on Instagram. So let's meet today's builders. All right, let's start off with Finding Emo. I meant Finding Nemo. I just remember you are awesome. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's so sweet. So the person doing Finding Emo is Hannah. Finding Nemo is like my favorite Pixar movie, so she better do it justice. Over in the red square, we have the person building elementals. I'm not going to get too close to you because you kind of stink. Hello, my parents who's watching this if I show them. Well, um, whoever's son or daughter this is, Karen, tell them to go have a shower. Your child stinks. <laughs> so much pain. We're the peace and love. Okay, over in the green square, we have Monsters, Inc. Although you're kind of wearing a Minions hat. It's your favorite Minion, Minion Trinity. Trinity, I hate Minions. So for that reason only, I'm walking away from you. Stop twerking. Okay, in the yellow square, we have, <laughs> we have Toy Story. Don't ask about the flag. Hello, oh my God, he just put out a friggin' sword yeah! on me. Hi, I'm Panda and I'm having a heart attack right now. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, this is Panda. He's gonna be building Toy Story. He's kind of a little cutie patootie. And then over in the purple square, we have the person building Brave. Who is this? Swag. Hey, why do people keep pulling out swords on me? Oh my gosh, girl, don't mess with me because I am actually a professional in sword skills. I don't care if you're a child, I will stab you. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Anyway, last but not least, we have Ratatouille. And the person representing Ratatouille is Rosine. I'm sweating balls. Oh, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> I read that really bad. Considering they each get a budget of $100,000, I'm expecting some pretty cool Pixar sets today. So with that being said, is everyone ready? They're all saying yes. Okay. Oh my God. The person doing Finding Nemo just said, wait, I need to find Nemo. I found him. Oh my Lord. Anyway, the one hour timer starts now. Good luck. Oh, not your jumping into build mode without me. You would. Okay. So everyone's in build mode. Of course, Monster Zinc is the first person to place down a wall. Of course. Oh my God. Why is the pen? Panda not in build mode. I don't have perms help. Oh my gosh. Panda, keep still. Guys, I forgot to give Toy Story Corona soz. The beginning of this build battle was such a flop. Let me just give you a little a little story time, okay? We started the build battle. I accidentally hired two people for Ratatouille, one of them being this little stick man. So I said, you know what? In my next build battle, you are promised a spot. So expect to see this stick man in a future build battle. Sorry, stick man, my bad. So it was a little bit of a flop at the beginning, but you know what? We got there in the end. So I don't know what any of them are building. However, I do know all of these movies except Elemental. I've never seen the movie elemental. I didn't even know what it's about. There wasn't even a flag for elemental. I had to put a water girl and fire boy flag because that was the only thing that was on decals. Okay, this is the elementals movie that they're representing. Oh, it literally is water boy and fire girl. Did they make a movie over cool maths games? In a city where fire, water, land, and air residents live together, a fiery young woman and a go with the flow guy discover something elemental. Do you reckon if they have kids it will turn into like stone or obsidian? in. Anyway, that's Elemental. I don't know what they're going to be building, so kind of keen to see this. Finding Nemo. I love Finding Nemo. I can already see that they added the ocean. What would they even build from Finding Nemo? Like the dentists? Oh, what if they do Nemo's home? The Anomonome. What's it called? The Anomonome? It's in the Great Barrier Reef, okay? I should know what this is called. This is called a... This word right here. Anomonome. A gnome. Yep, that is an anome. That is what Finding Nemo are building. An anome. That you... Um, you had, you, you, you could, you do.
Okay, ratatouille. First of all, why would you let a rat touch your food? Second, I am most 100% certain they are doing the kitchen from ratatouille. I really hope they do because I can't see them adding anything else in ratatouille other than the kitchen. The kitchen is iconic. As for Brave, uh, Merida, love this movie, love the Scottish accents. Actually, are they Scottish or Irish? I don't know, don't judge. This movie makes me cry because first of all, why would you turn your mum into a bear? That's so mean. And so far, I've got no clue what they're building. Something, oh, you know what would be cool? If they built the pathway to the wisps. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Brave. But this woman right here accidentally turns her mum into a bear and then has to take her to like this pathway to the wisps to save her from becoming a bear like full time before she goes wild. And it's, a real, it's actually a really sad movie. So if you haven't watched Brave, you know what? Go watch it like right now. Now, who is building Toy Story? <laughs> Why did I pick that photo? That's the most terrifying photo ever. I already know by the blue walls and by this bed, the person doing Toy Story is definitely doing Andy's bedroom. This is what Andy's bedroom looks like. So I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. I love Toy Story. I loved Andy's bedroom. I loved how vibrant it was. So trying to recreate that in Bloxburg is going to be very fun. Oh, and then right next to Toy Story, we have Monsters, Inc. Now, if you have not watched Monsters, Inc., there's pretty much these little demon things that have to scare children and then they get the points. So pretty much like my plushie. Like, like if you haven't bought my plushie yet, first of all, go buy my plushie so it can haunt you. But my plushie kind of looks like this and if it's in my room, it will scare you. And I don't know where I'm going with this point so I'm gonna shut up. But anyway, they're definitely doing Boo's bedroom. Boo's bedroom, Monsters, Inc. Oh, 100%. This is Boo's bedroom. There's the purple striped wallpaper which they've added, the little purple bed which they also have. So they're definitely doing Boo's bedroom i cannot think of anything else now as for elementals see it's hard to know what they're building considering i've never watched the movie so i don't know there's this photo of them in the movies maybe they're doing a movie theater also so unrealistic you would literally burn that seat if you were a lady on fire <laughs> It looks really cool and I kind of wish that I've watched the movie to understand what they're building but right now I've got no clue. Trinity just goes, Alaska why do you do this to us? Soz. Oh just to put the cherry on the top. You all have 50 minutes left. I have a feeling Nemo is doing fish eggs. Is that fish eggs? Isn't fish eggs like uh, caviar? Isn't it like rich people food? Caviar? Like tell me why people pay 10 grand to eat fish eggs. That is nasty. Anyway while I let these builders build their little sets, I'm going to <clears throat> stock their plots. Starting with this person, I just really want to ask Hannah, what's going on with your house? Look, I'm no one to talk about how the back of your house looks like, but Hannah, babe, what the hell is the back of your house doing? Oh, I think she's doing a set. See, the inside is much nicer than the outside. She's definitely doing like a little bedroom set, I feel like. Hannah is 100% a Bloxburg influencer. Now, coming down the street, we have Swag's house. Swag, why do you have a grass mailbox, first of all? Second, this looks like a typical UK home. Is this what like a fancy house looks like in the UK? Jesus, I've entered the gates of hell. What is this? Put shit through my loud box again! I'm a little bit last to you! Okay, who is this panda? Oh, I'm gonna cry. Like, I'm actually gonna cry. She has an AV with a heart at the front of her house. <laughs> Wait, that's so sweet. Oh, this automatically gets a 10 out of 10. Beautiful house. Absolutely love it. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. But jokes aside, this is a very gorgeous house. Panda, are you sure you watch my videos, babe? Because I know my building abilities. I'm definitely not this good. So I don't know where you learnt how to build this good, but it's definitely not me. If anything, I feel like I should be taking notes from you. Speaking of Panda, look who's outside of build mode and needs perms again. If it isn't Panda. Okay, I searched it up. The movie Brave is located in Scotland. Scotland. So they're Scottish. This is a Scottish accent. So here's a little recap. This redhead chick gives her mom a potion. Her mom drinks the potion and then changes into a bear. And then at sunrise on the third day, her mother would be a bear forever. Unless the redheaded chick mended their broken family bond. Yes, I read that from Wikipedia. Okay, shut up. Rosine just said, let's not talk about my windows right now. And just because she said that, I'm going to look at her windows. Rosine, what the hell is this? It's actually not even bad. I don't know what she's talking about. This window looks good. 
good. The kitchen in Ratatouille is so, so detailed. So I really hope she has time to capture the beauty of that kitchen because that was a good looking kitchen. Oh my God, what the hell happened to Elementals? They got rid of their weird like shrine thing. Now they're building a river lake. I wonder what the main conflict is with the movie Elementals. I reckon the main conflict is these two get in a fight and then Water Girl says to Fireboy, wow, you really just need to cool off. And then he's like, I can't because I'm fire. Get it? Because he's hot. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, Finding Emo is doing more eggs. Or as I remember in the movie, all these eggs die. So say with me, fetus deletus. <laughs> Oh, okay, Merida. We've got Costa Mountains. We've got Costa Hills. Bloody hell, this is gorgeous. Fun fact, Bloxburg added these new field of fireflies. So you can literally add fireflies to the game now and paint them like different colors. Like how cute is that? So what Rave should do is make these blue. Sorry, I'm gonna build on your plot and have a little field of fireflies. Like look how cute that would be. Anyway, I was never here, I promise. I think they're now working on the ring of stones. So from my memory, Merida encounters like these ring of stones where she kind of follows the wisps. I hate saying the word wisps because it's like pss, 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 at the end. Try saying wisps without saying pss, pss, at the end. Wisps. I sound so stupid. Oh, okay, elementals. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but goddamn, this looks incredible if I watch the movie. So right now I've got no idea what's going on. But I have a feeling most of you guys that are going to be voting will know what this is but me personally i've got no clue finding nemo is still working on their anomaly listen all right i can't say it you know what? i'm gonna search up how to say it how to say nemo's home anemone anemone say it again anemone anemone okay i got it this is an anemone look at toy story they've added the little toy box that's very creative they made this out of basic shapes and it looks like there's toys coming out of the toy box okay each of the builders have have 30 minutes left. Now, I thought Ratatouille was only going to do the inside of the restaurant, but by the looks of it, they're only doing the outside, which is a different approach than what I originally thought they were going to do. So if you didn't know, this is Gusto's restaurant in Ratatouille, and I think they're trying to replicate that, which, you know what, so far they're doing a really good job. Lord just said, wait, Alaska, who do you think is going to win? Then ask the viewers to comment who's going to win. Me, personally, I I think is gonna win and I don't know comment who you guys think is gonna win and then go back to your comment and see if you got it right I'm not even being nice and being like oh they're so good but secretly like I'll have a favorite one no they're all amazing and I genuinely do not know who's going to win like this is gonna be very difficult and it just goes why does Andy have such a mess in his room yeah for real Andy clean your room my mom would whoop me if my room was as messy Oh my gosh, look at the text. Like, Roblox is taking away my freedom of speech. I can't even say a simple sentence anymore. Okay, Boo's bedroom from Monsters, Inc. Incredible, but you know what would make this 10 times better? If they added a roof, except no lights, and made it very eerie, like dark and eerie, kind of like the movie. Because we've never seen Boo's room during the daylight, so I feel like that would be a cool touch. Okay, a little update with the time. Each builder has 20 minutes left. And I finally understood what Brave is doing with their set. So in my head, I'm like, how are they meant to do a whole mountain in a little seven by seven square? But they're doing like a mini version, which is so creative. So they made all of their trees really small and these little fireflies, which are meant to be the wisps. So this is kind of cute. And an update with Ratatouille. Not only are they doing the outside of their restaurant, but they're also doing the inside, which if you haven't watched the movie, looks very, very accurate. So does Finding Nemo's little anomaly. I forgot anemone. That's it. Oh, look how cute this is. They made a little mini bed in the anemone. That is adorable. Stop. And by the looks of it, Monster Zinc has taken my advice, added a roof, and made it very ominous in this bedroom, which I love. They're even doing my custom light hack, which is so cool. And then with Toy Story, this looks like a minimalist's worst nightmare. Fun fact, they get five minutes to change all their decals, so I don't know how they're going to change all of these decals with 
within five minutes, but we'll see. Also, it doesn't look like it, but I am so shocked that Brave has not ran out of a budget because you know how expensive one little tree costs? $1,700. And they've added like 40 of them. This is so creative though, because it's so small, but if you zoom in all the way in, it feels like you're in a magical garden. So they've honestly done such a good job. I'm so impressed. Alrighty, 10 minutes left. I don't know why I'm so nervous. They all look great. Like, is it bad I all want them to win? Like Andy's bedroom? Oh, are you joking? And they added toys in the box. This is definitely got to be one of my favorite build battles, just because of how creative everyone is being. Even the elemental set, whatever this weird tentacle thing is, I love it. I already know it looks exactly like the movie and I've never seen the movie. Karen just said, Alaska, I want to restart. Babes, you got six minutes. Don't do this to me. The person doing elementals wants to restart. Okay, they only have a minute remaining. So in the meantime, I'm going to hop out of build mode and just have a little dance of this stick because he seems like a vibe. Alrighty, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. And time. All right, everyone hop out of build mode. I hope you're ready. I don't even have to tell them to change their decals because they already ran off within like two seconds of jumping out of build mode. So it's just me and this cricket. So how's life, man? I'm going to pick you up and throw you. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I have picked up the cricket. I've adopted this cricket. Here's mine. Okay, so everyone has finished their Pixar build. So now it's time to tour them. And I think I want to start off with Finding Emo. Sorry, Finding Nemo. This is so creative. Using the basic shapes as little bubbles under the water was such a cool little touch. As soon as I enter this plot, I just feel like a little fish in my anemone. This is amazing. Moving on. Next up, we have Gaston's Restaurant from Ratatouille. The X exterior is almost as beautiful as the interior. This is what the inside of Gasto's restaurant looks like in Ratatouille. So I have got to say, this is incredible. The little stage here as well. I like how they made it black so it looks like it's very ominous and there's more to it back here. Is this a second story? What is this? Oh my god, I didn't even know this was here. Hello? This is a full second story. This is the kitchen. Okay. It looks like they ran out of time with lighting, but no, I see the vision. Super impressed with this build. Next up, we have Brave, which I was so shocked when they started adding the little trees. And I'm assuming this is Merida. As soon as I enter this plot, I automatically feel like a little fairy and everyone is like big giants. And then if we follow this path, this is where Merida cures her mother. Now, next up, we have Toy Story. I didn't recognize this at first, but they added the little stars on the roof, which I think is also included in Andy's bedroom. The decals are amazing, especially this one. Absolutely love. Although I don't know why Andy has a seasoned greeting postcard in his room, considering we're in the middle of August. Now over here, we have the person who done Monsters Inc., which is Boo's bedroom. Oh, we have Boo's drawing. This is just incredible. Oh my gosh, the fake closet as well. Now this, this is what I love. These are like fake lights and they make the room feel so much more cartoonish, if that makes sense. Someone have a tea party with me. Oh, look, the little stick man. Look at him. But yeah, you can tell they put in a lot of effort into this bedroom. So I am super duper impressed. Now over here, we have elementals. Now this looks incredible. However, please tell me what this is from because I've never seen the movie. But I mean, everyone is having the time of their life over here. Oh my God, the stick man's drowning. Someone save the stick. Now this is very creative. Though. I like the little clouds on the top and the waterfalls as well. Shout out to uh, Karen, Karen Zero. Like when the fight. Karen, what just came out of your mouth? Alrighty, so that is all of our Pixar plots and it is now time for you guys to vote for your favorite. Okay, who can join everyone? I'm scared. Stickman just goes, I'm scared. You know what? I'm scared too. I'm gonna hold you. We can be in the chaos together. I've got you little stick. You know, me and the stick, we're gonna go and watch from all the way over here, away from the chaos. No one's gonna know that I'm here behind this tree. Oh gosh, here comes the chaos. <laughs> you big flop. Not someone calling me a flop as soon as they come in the server. Oh, is that Lightning McQueer? ka -chow. We've got Lightning McQueen up in the building. Really adding to the whole Pixar element over here. Stop! Wait, is that Mike Wazowski? Yo, we got Mike Wazowski. Oh, never mind. That is Shrek. Alrighty, it looks like everyone has voted. So I'm gonna go around and check if everyone's voted yet. Okay, so if you haven't already, make sure to cast your your votes. 
There's something about Boo's bedroom that I really love. I think it's the whole nostalgia of it. But I guess we'll start with counting all the votes. Okay, so starting with Finding Nemo, we have one, two, three, and four votes for Finding Nemo. Ratatouille with one, two, three, four, five, six. What did I just walk in on? Seven, eight votes. So a total of eight votes from Ratatouille. Next up, we have Brave with one, two, three. Where are your clothes? Oh my gosh, someone's literally dressed up as Merida from Brave. So I think it was 25 votes for Brave. Next up, Toy Story with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 14 votes for Toy Story. Oh, that's pretty close. So next up, Monsters Inc. with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fourteen votes for Monsters Inc. And last but not least, Elementals with one, two, and three votes. So the winner with 25 votes goes to Brave. So congratulations to the builder of Brave for winning today's Pixar build battle. Either way, they all done such an incredible job. The amount of detail that each builder put in is so amazing. But I think this was very well deserved. So congratulations to Swag for winning today's build battle. And because she's on my Roblox group, I get to give her 500 Robux. So remember, if you aren't already on my Roblox group, make sure to join. I hope you've enjoyed today's build battle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.